What's up guys? We're releasing a free class on YouTube from my long step masterclass. You guys who have access to one of my favorite techniques and you guys who understand a little bit more about my style of teaching. One of the things that I was most happy with this masterclass was the way how I structure everything. I start with solid drills. I work some fundamentals for the technique. I work some techniques. Then I show you guys many different drilling sessions and specific training, sparring situations. So there's many things that you guys will enjoy watching it. If you guys want to have more access to it, you guys can go on the website rfjutsu.com. And I hope you guys enjoy the technique. Thank you. I want to work whenever my partner is using the lasso. And to be honest, this is one of the most common situations. And usually people, they have a hard time, like they, they're able to apply the long step, but they have a hard time doing it when the person is doing the lasso because I feel like the, the distance is not correct. The, the details on circling the hand, you guys need to make sure to pay attention to that. Because you could, like the person on reverse delay, but you're using the lasso, they could use that to sweep you. Okay, so I need to make sure that my position is correct so I don't end up taking that risk. So I go reverse delay heave up. First one, my partner is using the deep lasso, just like that. First thing that I want to do from here is to move my weight away from his chest. Okay, every time you guys are in the lasso situation like this and your weight is on top of the chest, that's how they started to use that leg to drive your weight to the side. So I'm trying to stay solid on the ground as much as possible. For not just the reverse lever, but for any situation the person is using the lasso. You guys will only get swept if they're able to manipulate your weight on top of them, and then they're gonna start driving that to the side. Okay, so what I try to do whenever I face this, I started to move all my weight back to my hips, look. So, okay, so all my weight is on top of my hips because when he starts to move the, the knee, look, he doesn't move any of my weight in my hips. Okay, he can move the lasso, look. He's only you, you moving my arm. And if worst case scenario, I can drop this knee to the ground and shift my hips. So if I start really feel off balance that way, look. I start shifting my hips and then I just fall to the same side. Okay, so here I'm controlling my base, controlling my weight all to my left side, because I know that's where he wants to take me, okay? Now for me to apply the long step, I need to start addressing this hand right here, my right hand. I need to make sure I circle that. But if I don't work on my distance, and I just try to circle my right hand, it's gonna get stuck. And the person, like, you won't be able to circle or even get close to doing that. So look what I do, I try to grab the collar grip, and use that same detail. I pin the shoulder down, and I'm gonna start addressing this. Okay, with this, how do I address this lasso grip? I need to make sure that my posture goes higher. Okay, so I'm low. Look how my posture goes higher. And when I'm doing that, I'm pulling my elbow to my ribs, so I'm doing this. Look. I'm shrinking my arm, okay, back as much as possible. Now when I come back, I'm gonna shoot my arm out. So look how my hand goes out, and I'm gonna shoot it back out. Okay, now I have the situation where my hand is completely out. If you guys are just trying to circle your wrist, so I'm just trying to circle, you won't be able to get your hand out. When you do get your fingers out, the person pulls it right back in. Okay, so I need to make sure that I pull my ribs, or pull my elbow to my ribs. So I start doing this. Like, okay, so I start doing this. I disconnect it. Now I circle and I shoot through. Okay. When I do that, now I'm gonna apply my long step. Same thing, look. Go away from my partner and long step. Look how I end up in a position where my partner still has the grip but my hand is completely out. Okay. When I go on a tripod, I want to make sure that I drive this hand to the ground. Okay, and this, the grip, it's actually gonna uh, make it difficult for him to recover the guard. So I'm gonna start going tripod, and I'm gonna drive this hand to the ground. Breaking the grip, but most important, flatting him out. So when he has the last way, it's sideways. When I start pushing my hand through, I flat him out. Okay, so again. He has the last position. So remember, if it's too off balance, just shift your hips, stay more on this side. Now I grab the collar, bring my elbow to my ribs, circle my hand, and I start going like one, two. 
My hand is completely out. I go up in the tripod position. Now I drive my right hand to the ground. So it started coming closer. Look. Drive that hand to the ground. And then I finish the long step pass. So I'm staying low. I go up. Look. One, two. Now I long step. Tripod position. Drive that hand to the ground. Breaking the grip and finish stabilizing. Another situation that the person uses on bottom is the shallow lasso. Okay, so a lot of times you guys, they have the lasso, but they're not full in with the hook. So they just step on your shoulder, just like this. Okay, so there's a couple of things you guys can do from here. The first one, to me, I feel very comfortable escaping, circling my hand out of the lasso. So what I would try to do from here is that I would try to push this foot in. So I try to like bring it in. Now I use this hook. Now I know that his lasso is fully in, and I'm very comfortable using the details that we just worked on circling that hand out. But let's say I'm having a hard time doing that. Okay, so maybe I'm, he's blocking me, he's not able, he's not allowing me to push that leg all the way in. Then I'm gonna start walking, okay, towards my right side to make sure that I escape this hand right here. So look how my hand is on his, on his hip. I grab the collar. I pinch my knees and I walk, flatten him out. So I start doing this. Uh, I flat him out. Now I'm going to use my head positioning to clear this. So look how my elbow goes forward. I clear that. Now I go back into the knee slide and I long step. Okay, so this is part of like connecting moves and doing leg work to clear the guard that my partner is using on me. Like, of course, uh, every time I'm doing it during the sparring, it might not look exactly like this, but I'm using my posture and I'm directing myself towards this position. Okay, so again, I wanted to just do a long step here, hit the side and finish the pass, but because of this, I'm gonna have to move uh, to the middle a few steps to clear, and then I come back to the same position. So I grab the collar, look. Look how I'm gonna use my legs here to pinch his leg, look. I pinch a leg, walk to the middle. Now look how I'm gonna clear this with my shoulder. Okay, so it's try to look, lower myself, I open my elbow, and I escape that. Now when he tries to bring that in, I'm just using my, my posture, my head positioning. So he tries to bring it in, I close the distance. He tries to go in, I close the distance. Then I go knee slide, and I apply my long step. Finishing the pass. Okay, so you're using your body to fit in the position and the hand that's on the hip to push that leg away from you. Okay, so you want to use your elbow to push it away and disconnect his foot from your shoulder so you can use your head to come back in front of the leg. So just the, the lasso situation here. So look, I'm doing this with my hand. Look. This right hand, I'm gonna push against the back of his leg and I'm gonna open my elbow. Okay, so my elbow opens right behind his knee. Now my head comes in. Now he's not gonna bring the shallow lasso anymore because my head is too close from his leg. If I'm here, then the shallow lasso comes in. But if I'm here, it's hard for him to put that back in. So then that's when I keep this distance and I just move to the side. One. Two. So best scenario to avoid this lasso, it is closing the distance. Okay, so I keep this hand on the hip. Let's say I'm jumping over the leg. Look how I close the distance quickly. Once I close the distance with my head, there's no more lasso. He's going to be trying to push me away to get that lasso in. Okay, but as he's pushing me away, that's why I'm connected to my long step. So that's why I'm saying, I'm beating the frame. Look, he's pushing me away. I long step. He's helping me initiate a position. Okay, so if I want to avoid that situation, I just close the distance quickly, look. If I do end up in the shallow lasso, I can push the hook in and escape, or I can walk to the middle. Look how I use my elbow. Look. One, clear. Now I go knee slide, long step. 
Okay, so both situations, uh, when the person has the lasso hook or when they have the shallow lasso stepping on your shoulder.